Hey guys, it's PC Purrs here, and I am back today for another episode of A Dancer Reviews for Jocelyn's Cabaret Season 3. <laughs> so y'all know I did Season 2, and we're back again because there's another season. Time flew, so we're back. If you're new to the channel, A Dancer Reviews is where a dancer, me, is going to review a movie, music video, etc. that has something to do with pole, and... It's going to be coming from the perspective of a dancer, so we're not just talking story, we're talking about how pole is represented in this piece. <laughs> of course, I'm going to have some tips and tricks. So, let's get started. Season 3, Episode 1. We're in Vegas. <laughs> Alright, so it starts with Jocelyn's new music video, and it's not as catchy as the Do It Like It's Your B-Day, but I will say, I feel like her songs are good intro songs for her show like they work it's behind it's like background music for the intro like it works for that on the radio i don't know about this one but the other one let's see if this one grows on me but they knew what they were doing because after they have like their little intro with this long music video then we get to do it like it's your b-day in the background so then my soul was happy so this one starts just like season two started uh, in the new house. The new house is nice. The new house is very, very fancy. But um, Jocelyn and Ballistic are talking. They call Chanel. Chanel's going to be in this season. And Lexi Blow. Everybody like Lexi Blow. So after that, then we see Chanel and Lexi Blow in the new house. And it seems like they're kind of it's a little bit of uneasiness between them. You know, Chanel isn't really confrontational. Neither is Lexi. So they're kind of like mm, nice, nasty a little bit. But they seem like they're going to be on the same page. Then we get in the bus or van, whatever it is, with all the girls. And we start getting introduced to them. And it's a lot of personalities. They all seem pretty prepared this season. I'm not going to say they seem more together than last season. Maybe a little bit. They just, they know what to expect this season. So they seem a little more together. Um, this season seems a little more focused already, but everybody's getting a little bit better. This is like a growing experiment. We're all growing together, kind of. So, then we're on the bus and we start meeting, or van, whatever it is, and we start meeting the new girls. And some of them stand out. Two of the ones that stand out a whole lot are Wet Wet, because she's the girl with the new boot. Or, I think she said they were like five or six months old, but they looked very noobs and very high on the dress and she's just got them out broad daylight just boobs out a couple of pasties and everybody's like where are you going with all your breasts out like she was just being loud she wasn't saying anything wrong she just seemed very happy to be there just very enthusiastic and you know everybody's trying to have a moment but it was really irritating the girls and then uh gaia love the christian porn star she seems like a lot and amber I think her name is Amber. And she was really, really pressed and bothered about wet, wet. It's like, mm, I mean, even if she is being extra, you gotta get that pressed about it. That was kind of irritating to me. But, um, pretty loud <laughs> ride. And Amber was saying that wet, wet reminds her of like a boss tech knockoff. But to me, she resembles boss tech a little more in terms of like clothing, style, and demeanor. And, Wet Wet reminds me more of like yummy, more like I'm going to say whatever. I'm going to be more like a free spirit and just kind of against the grain of like what everybody else is. So it'll be interesting to see how their personalities shape out. But then we see Jocelyn and she's looking for a venue for the cabaret. And they pretty much found a strip club and it's all black. And it seems like from the way they showed it, it's got a few stages with like a single pole on it and a lot of open space in the middle with tables around. And to me, it seems like it might not be the best venue because there's no central stage. So I like the little side stages because then you can have like other things happening that add to the atmosphere. I got all my hands in the video, I'm sorry. But there's no main stage for her to perform at. She would be lower than everybody else walking around among the people. She wouldn't stand out. So to me, she might want to rethink that space. I didn't really like it. Yeah, too much. And then they show the locker room in the back. And it was real basic. It was giving very much basic strip club vibes. And 
that's cool, but it's a cabaret, right? You want the girls to feel luxurious and just like a step above a strip club. So to me, she, if she got that space, she would have to do some renovations. And I think she deserves to like do something in the back for the girls to make it better. Because I feel like even their costumes and stuff, it should be presented a certain way where everything just feels luxurious if the whole thing is supposed to be an upscale environment. But that's just me. So then the van or bus, whatever, pulls up to the house and Chanel and, <laughs> and Lexi blow like, cool, y'all are here, y'all can't go in. Jocelyn was like, don't let these girls in my house. I don't even know them like that. So they're like, y'all can't come in. But Jocelyn said, we're going to go to do a photo shoot, which to me is a good idea because we know the girls drop out. So if you wait till the end, you might not get a group shot. So let's do this right now. So they all go to do the photo shoot and... Again, Wet Wet is like around doing too much, getting on the girls' nerves, and <laughs> um, Wet and Amber is just getting real, real bothered by it. But to me, everybody's drinking. So Chanel says she was drinking tequila. I think they were drinking tequila. Who knows what they were all drinking? But they all getting sauced up. You know how these shows do. And it's like everybody's looking for their moment. As long as she's not touching you or really harassing you, I feel like, why are you getting that pressed about it? Like, I'm not gonna let somebody, I don't know, get me that bothered, especially if they're not talking to me or doing anything. And the general consensus was, she's being extra, but she's not bothering anybody. So for her to want to fight this girl, it was getting to be a lot. And of course, there was a fight, and she dragged this girl. Like, she really put the beats on this girl. And I felt so bad for her, because mostly, it just seems pointless. But, of course, I'm not going to say of course, but we learned last season not to expect dancing in every episode. So I got to pull and just from my mind and give you guys something. So I was inspired by their photo shoot. We're going to talk about doing a pole photo shoot today because it can be intimidating, especially if you haven't been pole dancing that long. So I'm going to go over some poses that basically anybody can do, especially if you're a beginner poler. And I think it's important, like, if the opportunity for a pole photo shoot comes around for you to take it because you can like track your progress. So your first pole shoot, it might be like cute, sexy photos where you're not doing anything too crazy. And then once you get more advanced, you'll see yourself do more advanced stuff. But all along your journey, you can have great photos and it can be a real booster for you in your journey. So let's talk about it. Pole shoots. So maybe you want to do a pole shoot, but you're feeling a little bit intimidated because what are you supposed to do, right? Especially if you're a beginner, you might feel like, I don't have any moves, so what's the point? But that's not true. <laughs> you should definitely go ahead and book your pole photo shoot. There are plenty of things that you can do on and around the pole that will play to your natural strengths and ability. And, you know, things that just aren't too complicated but look really, really good. And so it'll be nice to have those pretty photos of you doing your favorite sport. It'll just be like a confidence booster. So. We're gonna talk about some of those. And also, first things first, if you're gonna do a pole shoot, show up early so that you have time to warm up. You wanna stretch and things like that so that you know your body has full range of motion. You don't wanna be really tight. So let's take it to the pole. I'm just gonna start by the pole. Half moon shape is always good, leaning away from the pole because it just looks sexy. So let's start with some upright things. If you're like me and you have long legs, or even if you don't, it's always a good thing to pose with just your legs around the pole. So just play with standing on your toes. That's always gonna look better. Arching the back. Another good one is being behind the pole, the pole splitting you in half, and just grab the pole arch back. That's always a cute one. You can play with looking over the shoulder, things like that. Just gonna show you what it looks like from some other angles too. Also play with your legs, switching them around. You might think one looks better and then you try something and it looks a little bit different. Also play with dropping your arms and don't forget, your photographer is going to be moving around. So even if this angle doesn't look the best, your photographer will catch it. This one is really great. It requires some balance. So hold on, cross your legs, lean forward and walk your hands down. You're going to keep one hand uh, in front of your boot and one hand in front of your kitty cat. And 
make sure you create a window so you can look over one shoulder so you can play around like that and you can play around with hiding your face also and when you come up take your time so you don't lose your balance and feel dizzy another classic is just being in front of the pole and taking a bend and again come onto your toes it's going to look a lot prettier if you have a really flexible back, this is a good one. Just stand in front of the pole, lean back. It's gonna be a cute one. If you're on your toes, it looks even better. These shoes are black, so it's hard to see, but definitely being on your toes all the time looks good. Another one, if your back is really bendy, you're just gonna arch back, bring your hip in front of the pole, and then arch back. And anywhere along this bend would be a good photo, but especially once you get down to the ground, you can play with where that bottom arm is. And then you can also whoop, come into a straddle. Again, extend through your legs. So point through your toes. You just want your toes on the ground. And you can play where that bottom arm is and your gaze and where you're looking and your hand placement. Next, I'm just going to come on out of that, but another one, a little split. Just trying not to kick my little doggy in the chair so that back leg isn't straight, but you want to look for the heel of that extended back leg to make sure that leg is straight and straighten, and straighten, and straighten. And last one, if your back is bendy, you're just going to arch, kick your heels to your head. Sitting on the heels is always cute. You can play with the angle, but that always looks really nice. Lunges are another good one. You want to come onto that front toe and extend through the back and you can play with where your your torso is. Leaning forward, leaning back, looking down, looking up. And if you're bendy, you can kick that heel to your butt and arch back. That always looks good. But play with your lunges, switch sides, switch your stance. This is another popular stance. You want to rotate the foot out so that you're on your toe and the heel is facing the camera. And play with your body position. Another good one, pull between the legs. You wanna push into that arm that's on the floor and arch. And you can take another straddle. Straddles are always good. Speaking of straddles, if you can invert, this is a really good invert that always looks cute. It's pretty basic, pretty standard, pretty easy. That one's always pretty. I hope you learned something from the tips and tricks for the pole photo shoot. If you have some other poses that you like or that you've done, of course you can tag me on my socials or drop down a link right below. Something that's just, you know, easy breezy, but very, ah, so cute. Um, I hope you learned something. We'll be back for the rest of this season because you know how we do. Hopefully we get some dancing this season. I'm a little bit optimistic. I also feel like this is another like, bad girls type of situation. I'm hoping that. I hope we get more dancing. I hope we get a venue. I'm going to be super optimistic because I really want this to come to fruition. I don't know why. I just, I really, I really want Jocelyn to get it together. So join me next week for the next episode and I'll see you for the next one.